Attention gents for coming. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome, Spring Breakers. I know we have many uh, Spring Breakers in our audience tonight. It's, uh, you know, we're less than two weeks away from Easter right now, and this is important to note for those who will be traveling. U.S. Customs has announced they're cracking down on eggs. If you're traveling from abroad, there's a limit now to how many eggs you can bring into the country, and that limit is 12 eggs. You're allowed to bring one dozen decorated eggs, and that's it. If you want to bring more than 12 eggs, you have to put the rest inside you, I guess, like a chicken. <laughs> The reason for this is because they're trying to stop the spread of avian diseases like the bird flu virus, and also because it's very weird to travel with eggs. <laughs> Speaking of weird, you know those AI chatbots? Uh, they now have the ability to arrange travel for us. ChatGPT can uh, buy things like groceries and book flights online. This is how the robots are going to get us. It's not going to be right rising up, starving us out. They'll get us by booking us middle seats on Spirit Airlines <laughs> with just enough layovers to make us go insane. And, uh, oh, speaking of... Speaking of chatbots, Elon Musk just announced that uh, starting April 15th, if you want to keep your blue check mark, you have to pay Twitter $8 a month, which will enroll you in an exclusive club of people dumb enough to pay Twitter $8 a month. <laughs> Those who get, got their check marks for free will start losing them starting April 1st. That includes me, I guess. I've had a check mark for many me. I'm not sure how I feel about this. I think it's going to be like losing my virginity. No one but me <laughs> will care, and I'll just be happy I didn't have to pay for it. But <laughs> the problem is, though, there are dozens of fake Jimmy Kimmels out there waiting for me to slip, I guess. This, this is one of them, Jimmy Kimmel 05. Blessed, fortunate, ready to serve. Well, that's me, all right. That's, that's it. It's either me or a Red Baron frozen pizza. I don't know. This one is Jimmy Kimmel. There's a lot of numbers there. This is my real personal account. That is not my real per. That is my social security number, but that is not my real account. This one is Jimmy underscore Kim I, which looks like an L. Second official account. DM me your email. Let talk on Hangout. That's right. <laughs> Yeah, let go place, do thing. This is J. Kimmel Possum. This is a me in marsupial form. And then we have this guy. This is interesting, James S. Kimmel. He's not pretending to be me, but he kind of looks like my father, who is also James Kimmel. Actually, he looks a lot like my father, who is also James Kimmel, but he is not my father, I think. Go back to the other guy so I can get back. All right, one of these. One of these men is my father, and now that Maury is retired, I may never know which one. <laughs> it's now day seven of the ongoing drama to catch a president. You know, Donald Trump announced he would be arrested a week ago today. He remains an unwanted man. Seven days later, the grand jury in New York is not expected to convene tomorrow, which means the earliest they could vote on an indictment is now next week. In the meantime, Trump has been busy saying goodbye to old friends. Last night, he threw quite a pity party on his pal Sean Hannity show. All of a sudden, they raided Mar-a-Lago, viciously raided Mar-a-Lago. I have tapes of the raid, mm -hmm. and the raid is terrible. And the way they treated people is terrible. I have the right to take stuff. I have the right to look at stuff. I didn't say, do something bad. I say, I am afraid that people will do something, because people are very angry about it. I never had an affair with her. It's all made up. Look at what they said about Russia, Russia, Russia hoax. That's the fake news media show. No. You know what it is? This is election interference. How can you look at me as an example with the boxes hoax? Ron came to see me, tears in his eyes. Could have never gotten the nomination. He would be working in either a pizza parlor place or a law office right now, okay? A law office. Yeah, save it for your cellmate, Donald. We don't want to hear it anymore. You know, he covered a lot of ground during his... Um... 40-minute Why Me a Culpa, and the reviews, even from his foxy friends, were not stellar. Uh, I, I voted for Donald Trump twice. I have defended him countless times. I thought he was horrific. I think that was the worst interview I've seen the president do. He was whining. He was complaining. Um, he played the victim card time and time again. Um, and then after that, he complained that, you know, somebody had endorsed was now running against him. <laughs> and I... I, I thought he was absolutely horrific. He's the former president of the United States. Act like it. 
Well, if that doesn't get the ketchup flying at Mar-a-Lago, I don't know what will. <laughs> the Republican Party is slowly turning away from old Yeller. You know, Chris Christie, the former governor of New Jersey, is thinking about running against him for president. He said he plans to take the next two months to decide whether or not he'll run, which is interesting because Chris Christie and Donald Trump used to be friends. He was even Trump's debate coach. Maybe they're still friends. Maybe the reason Chris Christie is running against him is to make Trump look thin. <laughs> Another former Trumper who is likely to run against his former boss is Mike Pence. And a federal judge today ordered Mother L Little Helper to testify about conversations he had with Trump leading up to the riot at the Capitol on January 6th. One of the things Pence could be questioned about is whether it's true that Trump called him the P-word for not doing his bidding to help steal the election. Boy, I'd give anything to be a fly on his head when that happens. I... <laughs> At this point, the only person who hasn't been ordered to testify against Donald Trump is Donald Trump himself. <laughs> Meanwhile, Joe Biden is bouncing merrily along and revving up the old campaign caboose. He, he's got some extra pep in his step and a uh, squirt of polyden under his teeth because starting today, the president is traveling the country on a three-week Invest in America tour. He's visiting over 20 states to remind us he's been getting stuff done. The president is very excited about this trip, and you could feel that excitement in this video he released announcing this multi-city tour. Hey there, kiddos, it's Joey B. Ferroni. I'm going around this great land we got telling folks to invest in America. When I was a kipper, I remember the president, Tommy Jefferson, invested in America by buying up a whole big chunk of Louisiana from the Frenchies for a barrel of wig powder and a couple of beaver tails. And look at Louisiana now. We got ladies showing off their hoo-hoos, and all you got to do is throw them a string of beads. Hallelujah. That's how you invest in America. And that's why I want everybody stocking up on Tommy J's $2 bills. Grandkids love them. You can use them to start up a cobble shop or study to be a fishmonger or drive a wonky scoop. Good jobs. Jobs you can raise a family on, Jack. This week, I'm coming to your city, but don't make a fuss. I'll sleep on the sofa. All I have is a few dietary restrictions. Doctor says I should slow down on the dairy. Gets me tooting like a sousaphone. <laughs> anyway, I'll be there around 5.30, but don't wait up. Just put on a pot of decaf and some boiled prunes, and I'll be regular in no time. I was it's fun. It's, he's having fun. You know, down in um, Florida, the governor, Ron DeSantis, has been waging war against Disney ever since our company voiced opposition to his shameful don't say gay law. He's been doing everything in his power and then some to punish Disney. But nonetheless, Walt Disney World in Orlando is going ahead with their plan to host the largest LGBTQ plus conference in the world. Why this would be controversial, I don't know, but here to get into all of it, please welcome one of our writers on the show and an expert in this area, Louis Vertel, who's here now to Vertel it like it is. Louis. So the Out and Equal Workplace Summit, which is touted as the largest LGBT conference on earth, will be taking place at Disney World in Florida this year, despite the fact that Governor Ron DeSantis, who reminds me of every Republican uncle who glares at me from across the Thanksgiving table, <laughs> wants Florida to be a gay-free paradise, brimming with pet iguanas, DWIs, and naked 7-Eleven robberies. <laughs> but I have bad news for him, because Florida has something so deeply gay, he can never destroy it. This. <laughs> As long as Minnie is watching over us in her quinceanera slash riverboat entertainer costume, <laughs> Florida will always be the gayest place on earth. <laughs> Disney is like Taylor Swift. You assume its main audience is young girls, but no. Its main audience is an exhausting 36-year-old gay barista named Troy. <laughs> And that's because Disney has been bringing us queer lifestyles going all the way back to Snow White and her seven gay dwarfs. <laughs> oh, you didn't know the dwarfs were gay? Look at them. Happy, lanky, sleazy, slutty, chatty, messy, and complete bitch. That's all of them. <laughs> Disney gave us Cruella de Vil. We as queer people consider female psychopaths to be visionaries. <laughs> then there's Jafar, who is just the doorman at every drag bingo game ever. Hi, Jeremy. <laughs> And nothing cements a gay child's identity like their first trip to Disney World. 
where on Splash Mountain you let out a squeal so high-pitched it makes your mom think, has my son been possessed by the ghost of Celine Dion? <laughs> so every time Ron DeSantis pulls a new anti-gay stunt, I'm of course livid and annoyed, but I also think, calm down, puss in boots. <laughs> Relax. Maybe even have fun. Have your fake Ivy League truck nut motorcade drive you to Orlando and take some time to enjoy the small, queer, wonderful world of go yourself. Thank you, Louis. Louis Bertel, everybody. He left already. Hi, Louis. He's in the parking lot. <laughs> Put on